Good day, everyone, and thanks for joining us here in the charts. You're tuned into the Market Beast Edition. If I look on Buddy speaking, today we'll be exploring a very interesting instrument that goes by the ticker symbol of OCGN. Uh, this video will also be very condescending, I'll be honest with you. So if you're not into that, it kind of makes you cringe. You might want to click off at this moment, okay? All right, so what we're going to do is go over some price action. This is a request. Uh, Lawyer subscribers, welcome back, guys. Uh, the YouTube algorithm, picking up on the channel due to your engagement, appropriate thumbs and comments. Thank you. So let's get into this very interesting chart that I found. You're probably in here for the thumbnail. We have price targets for everyone, okay? So let's go ahead and dive right into the charts here, shall we? All right, today's March the 12th, 2021, and the previous close, or the current price, rather, is going to be, I just wanted to say previous close, it sounds cool, $9.96. It's up approximately 3.7% for the day. Okay. If you're new here, it gets really, really interesting at times, so uh, my prayer hands will go out to you there. All right, so let's see what I found here on the chart. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. Super simple. What you are witnessing on the screen are three day candles. And I've identified what well, I think I've identified are little small consolidation ranges before the breakout. OK, now we're only going on actually just one reference point, OK, which can be identified at this small area here, which has 29 days, a small bull flag and then five days. I'll explain everything here. Um, so before before we get to that. I think I've followed this back when it was like at 27 cents, because if you notice this little red line here, this is back when I was, I guess, following it when it was like 27 cents. So, yeah, that was the last time. I mean, the mar the price has gone up. I think I measured at like 3100 percent so far. So, I mean, that's pretty exponential. So if you guys are entering this market, this is not financial. Let's get this out of the way. This is not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. Please have a strategy before you put your hard earned capital or the money that people continue to give you in this market. OK, uh, that's no, know where you're going to exit, know where you're going to take a, a stop loss if the market goes against you. And of course, how much you're going to risk. Never risk more than you're comfortable with losing. OK, or uncomfortable with losing. Huh? Hopefully I said that right. All right. So let's get into the details here. So the first uh, just one reference point is what we're going by. This small area. Again, it's a bull flag uh, which had entered the market here at about December the 28th, 2020 of a price of about two dollars and 17 cents. Notice uh, hopefully you guys are with me like when you follow us and you understand the buyer's obligation and the seller's obligation. Uh, this red circle represents, uh, I guess, the entry, the sellers entering this market or the buyers, whichever one this. They're both just kind of two parties, right? Both kind of two parts. If that makes sense. All right. So the buyers and the sellers, they enter this pattern, right? And they find, uh, find resistance. The sellers are protecting the top of that line. And of course, the buyers are protecting the lower level support. Okay. But here's where the buyers broke out. Okay. Of this pattern. And they want to continue to thrust to the upside. It only took them about five days to go as high as um, all the way up here at this wick point here which is all the way at like $18. Now, this is the imp important part here of how we actually got the uh, the extreme target that probably brought you in with a thumbnail. So these th this three-day setup here, these are three-day candles. So this area right here can be measured. What we're going to do is measure the breakout. If you guys already seen that, the breakout from the, uh, the bull flag, and we're just going to measure it all the way up to the wick. So that's how we actually got the thumbnail, okay? So it's, it's I guess it's clickbait-ish, but that's how we got it, guys. Uh, so let's see. I remember measuring out 780 percent to the upside. So, um, yeah, that's how much I measure, guys. 780 percent to the upside. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, something like that. So 780 percent is what we got. All right. I'm just going to erase that really quickly. And the next pattern is going to be this um, this bull flag right here. It's kind of a weird bull flag right here. Right. Just the three days are just kind of perfectly confined in this range. It appears that this three day candle is going to close above the resistance line. It's not guaranteed because there's still four hours and 50 minutes to close on this three day candle. So if it were to get back below the resistance line, you're talking about uh, nine dollars and four cents. So on today, March the 12th, 2021, if it's back below nine dollars and four cents, that means that the breakout is not official. And even if it's an official breakout, it doesn't mean that the price can't just simply collapse to the downside okay remember guys do your research i don't know i'm just looking at lines on the charts i have no clue what this uh, stock is okay but let's just entertain the fact that because again the, the thumbnail brought you in let's entertain the fact that it, the the scenario not the fact 
entertain that it could be breaking out here right now. If it were to get a back test of the previous level of resistance, it would go all the way down to $8.81. But if it does find support there and the uh, trajectory will continue higher, it will go ahead and bounce off that level from $8.81 and continue higher. And remember, this process is not going to take long because if we're going from this limited data right here at this three day candle, this one, and then the large gap and then it spikes all the way up let's just go ahead and pull out the uh the targets here and close this out now the, the way that i actually got this target overhead which is currently at about 22 dollars and 15 cents i actually use my very beautiful fibonacci retracement tool um and just really quickly for my technical guys if you forgot the way you do that is you measure from the the most recent high and then you go down to the identifiable retracement that means the lowest point that you can identify um and try to find the overhead target. Hopefully that makes sense. You measure the highest level that you can um, identify, the most recent high, and then the most recent low, basically. And then you pull out your fib, and then you're going to measure it from the top all the way to the most recent low. And then the uh, you're going to find the, uh, the 1.27 on your fib. All right. And that brings the uh, potential extension all the way up to uh, $22.15. So that would be the conservative play if the market is going to continue higher okay so that's for my conservative players and i know i got to give them a price target for those of you who want to point your finger and say hey napoleon what happened man you told me the price is going all the way up to 83 dollars 71 cents bro it we, i lost so much money let me go ahead and give you your price target all right so let me see how uh, so the overhead target here the extreme thumbnail that brought you in let's go ahead and do a really quick measurement to see if we can get that thumbnail going the current price all the way up to that level it's eighty three dollars and seventy one cents that doesn't mean like go all the way like try to ride all the way up there and this is like so hypothetical like it's not even funny it's so hypothetical okay will this take place guys i don't know and i really don't you know it's, it doesn't matter to me i just want to do like something of videos for the request that we're continuing to get on this stock uh let's see 750 percent to the upside eighty four dollars approximately that's the uh, price tag so that's how the uh, I was able to get that again by measuring the same percentage from the one reference point, one reference point. OK, so like if you're going by this 100 percent, man, my prayer hands go out to you. OK, 750 percent. We measure from the breakout is right there. All right. 750 percent. Eighteen dollars. 48 cents if you measure it from the first uh breakout here right and then you measure it all the way up 750 percent. so that's how i got the thumbnail guys so please be responsible out there uh don't take the thumbnail as yes napoleon told me to buy this stock i know i've said that like 10 times guys i know this is remember this is a condescending video um but this is pretty much all i have so let's i guess the bearish case scenario like if it were to take place, like move to the downside, then yeah, you're probably looking at a, a move to the downside of about five dollars and twenty six cents. If it uh, if it uh, like this is a fake out and it's not an actual breakout, yeah, you'd be lucky if you can um, see a retracement all the way down to five dollars and thirty one cents. Okay, if it actually finds support there. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing. You have the bearish case scenario. You have the practical level overhead. You have the extreme uh, price targets overhead or price target rather. And that's all I have for you wonderful folks. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully it, it was, makes you like cringe, right? Because I want everyone to have strategies. That's the number one thing I'm going to leave out. Close this video. Have a strategy. I'm okay if you point your finger at me and you want to like blame me for, for your um, lack of having a you know uh, a strategy in this market i'm okay with that please leave that in the comment section i'm okay with that but for those who are actually responsible in these markets i definitely uh, applaud you guys for having a strategy as you enter and exit these markets you know practically right if that's even a word you know i, I truly uh, appreciate every single one of you who have a strategy and have an open mind with me knowing that i'm just looking at lines in the charts guys and um i do the best that i can so thank you for your time again leave an appropriate thumb to support the channel and a comment that's all we ask and also before you go if you're new we cover the alternative markets if you're into bitcoin and all coins so subscribe hit the bell we'll see you in that information when it's available yeah i think we covered everything so take care of yourselves protect your portfolio of course execute your strategies we're going to talk soon bye for now